Arara, what are you doing? Oh, hello, my friends. I strongly believe the future of our country lies in the hands of the youth. So I'm building a free SHS arc so they can all access free education. <laughs> ah, la, la. <laughs> I don't understand you. How is it feasible? Huh? How is it feasible? If you have enough money to spend, why would you spend it all on free SHS? It, it, it is not possible to say that, I mean, when you are a border and you are going to school, all the feeding, all the accommodation, the tuition fee and everything is free. Yes, my friends, it is very possible. It takes decisive leadership and commitment to achieve a great vision. The leader of the naysayers and his friends started to laugh at him. By now, Nanado had completed the free SHS arc and had given access to all the youth of school-going age, both rich and poor, to enter the arc for free. Then again, Nana called on the opposition to believe in his policy and join him. <laughs> guys, guys, you see, you see, this is a talk of a desperate politician. He's not making any sense. Ghana cannot introduce free SHS. Many countries in Africa have already made mistakes with free SHS. After being beaten massively in the election and being drowned in over one million votes against him, the same person who didn't believe in free SHS comes back to make promises. Oh no no, oh no no, oh no no, oh no no, no no please let us in, let us in, we believe in free SHS, no no no, oh please let us in, if you let us in, we are sure you that we'll even make it better, oh no no, oh no no, oh no no, oh no no no.